going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So, yes, as you can tell by today's video title, we're here for wash and go, okay? So, as you can tell, my hair is freshly washed, cleaned, and ready to go. So, I'm going to go off camera, part it off, and then we're going to be back with what products we're going to be using. And, yeah, we're going to jump into it. Okay, so I am back, okay? Um, hair is parted and everything. So, today, I'm going to be using, well, before I get to that. So, remember what I said that we're going to be on the 100th wash and go? Not true. So, this will be the 100th video and the natural hair playlist. But, I think, as far as the playlist, this is going to be the 80th wash and go. Okay? So, for the 80th wash and go and the 100th video in the natural hair playlist, we're going to be using a product that has had the best work history in the history of this channel. The most consistent brand the most consistent wash and goes, and the best results. And it's going to be none other than Miola Organics. But today, we're going to be using the Manko and Tulsi um, Nourishing Whipping Cream. Okay, there we go. So, um, we're going to just open this up. I have not opened this yet or anything, so I'm going to get into it. Okay, all right, so it's looking like right here. Okay, you can tell it's a thicker product. I'm holding it upside down and nothing has fallen out, okay? And to go over that, okay, that's what's going over that, all right? So let's just go to jump into it and get a little little spritz, okay? And I didn't have a matching t-shirt to go with like the color. Usually I try to do my background transition color and my shirt to go with the product, but I don't have anything of these colors, or if I do, they're too loud or too dark. So I said, well, when in doubt, go with a white t-shirt, okay? So we're just gonna pick this up. This is what it looks like right here. Okay, it's thicker, like a whipping cream. Okay, so this smell, mm, it's not the best. It's like, it's okay. It's not anything bad. It's just, for me personally, it's not going to be, mm-mm. Uh-uh. But how's everybody doing? I'm doing good, okay? And you see I got my pictures evened out back here, okay? I got them even, and then the light can come up, and then over, and then down. So yeah, I got my little light thing even with my pictures because it was uneven. And it kept bothering me. And the perfectionist in me just was not going to continue to let that happen. Okay. So now that I have the product in there. Okay. Let me see. There we go. Just a little light spritz. So I did not deep condition today. Because. I don't know. I just decided I didn't want to. Usually I do. Especially with the first wash and go of the week. Okay. So anyway, get that in there. So now I'm going to go in with the extreme gel. Okay. You already know what that looks like right in there. And it's getting colder. Yeah. So now I can actually sit in front of all my lights. And camera, and I don't have to break out in a sweat, cause when it's hot, you the heat from those lights really becomes real, and it gets hot, and then I start sweating, and then I have to go off camera and wipe my face down, and it comes too much. But now that it's cool, I can sit in front of these lights with no problem. You know. See, the cool air is just much more convenient for everybody. You know, and then my fashion over. Well, the rest of my order is getting here today because I ordered one shirt and short sleeve, but all of a sudden, by the time I checked out, it was gone. Then, I just ordered the same shirt and long sleeve. And that might be better, but I don't know. And then my skin had been doing so good, but I guess with the recent weather change and it's getting colder, it's drying out more, so it's trying to get out of control, but I'm going to have to find something. So, I'm done with this first section. I'm going to move to the second one. Okay. So, now that it's officially October, you know, 
Halloween is on the way. What are y'all going to be for Halloween? Because I had a few things in mind. But one of them is like a big step for me. Like it would be a really big mix up. Like a really big surprise as to anything that I would ever do. So I'm not sure if I will go through with it. If I do and it does good, I might post it. If not, then it flops. Then I'm not going to post it. Okay. But it will be a nice recreation of something iconic. One of the best... Um album covers of the late 90s and that's all I can say that's one thing I'm thinking about and then there was a few other basic concepts that I was thinking about just to do because I didn't really do anything Halloween related last year on the channel which I'm like huh so yeah and hopefully more than likely we will be back to our annual pumpkin carving okay so I did it back in 2020 right rude but yeah, I did one back in 2020, so I didn't do one last year, but I'm going to try to do one this year to bring it back, okay? So I'm just putting the product into the second section of hair. So we're about two to three videos later, and uh, we should have our winter clothes out. Like, the wardrobe should have been recycled by now. Like, you have your... Spring, summer, and then now you have your fall, winter making its way in. Have you already rearranged your wardrobe? Have you already gotten that together? Okay? I just feel like that stuff should already be out. And we should go ahead and start planning for our Thanksgiving outfits. Yes, we're two months out from Thanksgiving. Well, all this month and then most of next month out from Thanksgiving, yes. But you need to start looking at what outfit you're going to do now. Like, what hairstyle? Like, you need to start buying stuff now are looking at stuff that way you can start purchasing it soon and that way it could come in the mail if we're gonna buy a new outfit because then you can have an outfit rehearsal that way if the outfit does not look like the way you plan you have time to change it do not wait till the last minute you know your outfit you went to the living room or to the family gathering for thanksgiving is supposed to be one of your best outfits of the year at least in my mind Okay. Ooh. Okay. So I'm trying to think of a hairstyle I'm going to do, an outfit. Now the shirt that's coming today, if I don't wear that, then I have my other sweater that I can pull out. So I have two options right now. For a bottom, I'm not too sure. Uh, I have jeans and stuff. I'm just not sure what would go with what. Like, maybe some khakis or something. I'm just not sure at the moment what I should do or what should I, what should I put with it. And then, you know, my shoes, because I'm going to wear Crocs. It's, time, it's a line of Crocs season now. Okay. But then again, I was going to get me some new dunks. You know, but they're not going to be in stock until the 14th. And I don't know if I'm going to miss the launch. And I don't want to miss the launch because what if there's no more? Like, so y'all want me some dunks. But I'm not sure how everything's going to go with that. So, I'll have to have a backup plan. Okay. Alright, and that's it for that second section pretty much. I'm just running it through one more time. Oh. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to go through the third section right here. Okay. I'm so glad my hair is getting longer in the back, like in the underneath section. Because I remember where it was at after it first got cut off. But it's been quite some time now, so it's grew out a little bit more. And it's like really getting to where it's supposed to be. Whew, now my hands are getting cold. Like faster. Is it like that for anybody else? Like, do your hands and feet get cold even though the rest of your body is warm? So, now that I have that in there, this third section, I'm gonna go off camera, finish off this last section of my hair, and then when I come back, we're gonna do the results, final opinions, and then we're gonna pull out our whiteboard to get our final ratings, and everything like that. So yeah, 
I'll see you then. Okay, y'all, so I am back, and this is what the hair is looking like right here. Okay. So now we're just going to get into the B-roll footage. That way you can see what really went down. So, hmm, yeah, I mean, it did decent. I mean, I can't really give it any more than that. Um, my hair feels incredibly soft, though. So I can say that it feels incredibly soft. You know, there's some definition in there. You know, it feels well moisturized and everything like that. However, it's not the best performance I've gotten from the Miel Organics products that I've tried in the past. Okay, so now we're going to pull out our whiteboard and going to give the rating. For the final overall rating, we have a 7.6. Doom. Okay, so Soot was a 7. Smell was a 7.5, definition was a 7, but moisturization was a 9. Again, my hair does not feel dry the least bit, and it's soft. However, there's a few factors that I'm going to charge this to. Um, you know, with the weather changing and different things like that, and it's been raining, so it could be a mixture of humidity, you know, it could be that it's chillier. It could be that myself was an issue the way I applied the product at one point. So, there's some other varying things. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this rating the same, 7.6. But, like I've said before, we never went through with it. If I do get a chance, I'm going to do this wash and go again. Okay? I'm going to do it again. And see if I get a different result, just on a different day, to see if it was me and did I mess it up. Because I kind of noticed, watching some of it back, that I wasn't really getting in the roots like I usually do. Um, I mean, there's some definition there. And I need to trim desperately for those straight, straggly ends on then. However, I wanted to grow out some more before I do that. Because I'm a link person. Yikes. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed this video and any of my other content on the channel. Go ahead and subscribe, like this video, turn on your post notification bell, follow me on social media and all that good stuff. And yeah, I will catch y'all in the next one.